What's up, y'all? It's Daniel coming to you from the Drone Fly Workshop. And today, we're thrilled to tell you a little bit about the Mavic 3 Enterprise Series, DJI's newest compact drones. Don't go anywhere. The Mavic 2 Enterprise quickly became a market favorite after its release just a few years ago. And now, here comes the Mavic 3 Enterprise. And it's everything we'd expect from DJI and more. First, let's talk about the biggest change, the payloads. The Mavic 3 Enterprise comes in three distinct models, the Mavic 3E, Mavic 3T, and the Mavic 3M. The Mavic 3E houses two cameras. The first is a large 20 megapixel, four thirds sensor with a wide angle lens and a mechanical global shutter. Because of this, it has excellent low light performance, high resolution, and best of all, no motion blur. The other camera on the Mavic 3E's payload is a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Both of these cameras are combined to form a seamless 56 times hybrid zoom. This payload is extremely capable considering its small size, especially if you're using it for inspections, surveys, mapping, or public safety applications. Next, we have the Mavic 3M. This is the multi-spectral payload. This is a precision aerial surveying drone with a focus on crop growth monitoring and natural resource surveys. It borrows the 20 megapixel wide angle camera with the mechanical shutter from the Mavic 3E, but replaces the 12 megapixel telephoto lens and sensor with four five megapixel multi-spectral cameras. Each of these specialized cameras allow you to see what the human eye cannot and giving those in the agricultural industry detailed insights to their land. Now the last payload on offer is the Mavic 3T, the T standing for thermal. Before I talk to you about the thermal camera, let me tell you about how the visual cameras differ on this payload. The telephoto camera remains the same while the wide angle camera changes to a smaller half inch 48 megapixel sensor to make room for the thermal payload. This is fine, except that it loses the global mechanical shutter, which is useful for preventing rolling shutter anomalies if your main duties are mapping and surveying. Don't let your disappointment last for too long though, because you are gaining an incredible thermal sensor. The high resolution 640 by 512 thermal sensor is perfect for public safety and inspection applications. You can even zoom in tandem with the visual camera from two to 26 times. So both visual and thermal images can be viewed side by side in real time. This is an incredibly powerful tool for public safety, inspections, or any other applications that require a thermal camera. Now onto what's new on the body. Besides its sculpted new looks, the craft is now safer and inspires greater confidence in both novice and experienced pilots, thanks to the addition of a new omnidirectional optical sensing system that uses six fisheye sensors to ensure there are no blind spots around the craft. The accessories such as the beacon, spotlight, loudspeaker, and RTK module represent the most significant change from the prior generation. On the Mavic 2 Enterprise, the accessories needed to be attached to the accessory port, and only one could be used at a time. Since then, DJI has recognized that users need to use more than one accessory at a time. Because of this, the beacon and spotlight are now built into the body, leaving the accessory port open for the use of the loudspeaker and optional RTK module. The loudspeaker can be used to communicate with those on the ground, and the RTK module can be used for centimeter level positioning accuracy. The new battery system with longer flight times is a fantastic improvement and industry leading. The Mavic 3 can fly for a maximum of 45 minutes, which is almost twice as long as the Mavic 2 Enterprise. And with the new fast charging adapter, you can charge a battery to 90% in only 47 minutes. This means always having enough flight time for long days spent in the air. The new RC Pro Enterprise offers three hours of flight time and supports USB-C charging while in use. Additionally, it features the updated Pilot 2 app for simpler operation and is compatible with Flight Hub 2, DJI's all-in-one cloud-based platform for managing drone operations. The remote expands OcuSync 3 Enterprise's compatibility and, thanks to its 4G connectivity, can offer an operational range of up to 15 kilometers. It can also function dependably in challenging environments with interference, such as near power lines, all while transmitting 1080p video in stunning clarity. 
Now with the built-in microphone for the loudspeaker, users will also have some new options. You can broadcast your voice, convert text to speech, or upload pre-recorded sound bites to play. And lastly, while using local data mode, you can download maps before missions so you can operate completely offline. We've just begun to scratch the surface of what this drone is capable of. So look out for more videos coming in the near future. If you have any questions or need any help with the purchase, give us a call, email us, or hit up dronefly.com and our experts can help point you in the right direction. That's it for now. I'm Daniel and I'll see you next time.